You said, um, I don't believe in God, the devil, ghosts, or any of that <laughs> Exactly. I, I, I don't like religion. I think religion is dangerous. All religion is dangerous. I think it's scary and it's dangerous, and I think it's all bad, and uh, it should probably all go away. You can believe in whatever you want to believe in, in, in life and the afterlife, but uh, religion is, is dangerous. Dana White, being the blunt individual he is, makes a bold statement that all of religion is scary, it's dangerous, and should all go away. Let's break this down and see how valid this statement is. Well, certainly there are a lot of scary religions out there that propagate hateful, evil, and oppressive ideologies. I mean, the Mayans sacrificed people, cut their hearts out, tied them up, and rolled them down the temple stairs in the name of their gods. That is pretty scary and dangerous. Take a look at Christianity and see if what Dana White says applies to it. Is Christianity dangerous? Some of the more popular cases you'll hear are Christianity is hateful towards gay people. What about the Crusades that happened in the Middle Ages where Christians persecuted, killed, and enslaved thousands of Muslims and Jews in the name of Jesus? And last but not least, Christianity condemns everyone that does not believe in Jesus to hell, and that is a hateful and dangerous ideology. First, is Christianity hateful towards gay people? To answer that question, let's go straight to the scriptures. Romans 1, 26-27 For this reason, God gave them up to dishonorable passions. For their women exchanged natural relations for those that are contrary to nature. And the men likewise gave up natural relations with women and were consumed with passion for one another. Men committing shameful acts with men and receiving in themselves the due penalty for their error. There are six primary passages in scripture that reference homosexuality. I've personally seen more debate over the Romans passage than any other. Which is interesting because this passage is as clear as it gets when it comes to labeling homosexuality as a sin. Here's a question. Is acknowledging something a sin hateful? I cannot find a single verse that encourages any sort of hateful behavior towards sinners. The Bible acknowledges a lot of things as sin, lust, which homosexuality happens to fall under, greed, anger, envy, pride. But nowhere in the scriptures does it once mention any sort of hateful behavior towards homosexuals. People like to reference groups like the Westboro Baptist Church as being hateful towards gays. Is taking a group of people that call themselves Christians and painting all of Christianity with it fair? Sounds quite bigoted to me. In conclusion, nowhere do the scriptures talk about hating homosexuals or any other sinner. Second argument, what about the Crusades? Christians persecuted, killed, and enslaved thousands of people, therefore Christianity is dangerous. The same logic applies here. You're taking a group of people and painting all of Christianity with it. Especially when nowhere does the Christian faith teach murder, persecution of other religions, or slavery. Christianity teaches the exact opposite. Jesus preached the exact opposite. As a matter of fact, he even took it to another level. Matthew 5, 21 through 22. You have heard that it was said to those of old, you shall not murder, and whoever murders will be liable to judgment. But I say to you that everyone who is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. 1 John 4, 8. Everyone who does not love does not know God, because God is love. Matthew 7, 12. So whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them, for this is the law and the prophets. Knowing what Christianity teaches, you cannot call the Crusaders, the Salem Witch Hunters, or the Nazis Christians just because they claim to be. God condemns them. Christianity does not teach or promote any of the atrocities that they committed. And last but not least, Christianity condemns everyone that does not believe in Jesus to hell, which is hateful and dangerous. Not only is it not hateful or dangerous, it's actually loving and compassionate. Imagine if you knew someone close to you that was going to die if they continued to live a certain lifestyle. And not only did you know this, but you had the antidote that would save them. And all you had to do was tell them to stop living this way and offer them the antidote that would save their lives. Would you not tell them the truth with the fear of offending them? Or would you risk offending them with the truth and offer them the antidote to save their lives? 
I think every single one of us would rather risk offending someone and saving their lives. Same applies here. The Bible does not sugarcoat anything. It tells the truth with the goal that you feel conviction for your sinful lifestyle and turn to Jesus for salvation. That is not hateful or dangerous. It's loving and compassionate. But the world today has twisted the meaning of love and compassion. In John 8, 32, Jesus says, And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. So, is Christianity dangerous? Sorry, Dana, but I'm going to have to disagree with you. Christianity is not dangerous. It's actually the exact opposite of that. And uh, it should probably all go away. Should Christianity go away? Looking at all the good morals that Jesus and Christianity promote, it would be an awful idea if Christianity went away. The United States and many Western countries were built on the morals of Christianity, and we see a drastic difference between life in the West and life elsewhere. We see examples in history where nations begin to drift away from Christian morals and oppose Christianity. The Soviet Union, China, and North Korea are just a few examples, and we know what life was like and is in these countries. If the entire world truly embraced Christianity and Christian morals, then it would be a much better place. Stay tuned for the next video where I answer the question, is Islam dangerous? If you want to support what I do, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and follow my social medias in the description below. Thank you for watching and may the grace of our Lord Jesus be with you.